Christine O'Donnell is obsessed with basting. That's right, she's obsessed with basting. And you know what I mean by basting. I'm not going to say what, what that means here, but <laughs> basting. That's what we called it. But back when I was in high school, everybody called it basting. You know, like, uh, <laughs> well, that's what we called it. But anyway, that's what Christine O'Donnell's obsessed with, the, the Senate candidate in Delaware running on the Republican ticket. That's right. And I had to whisper the word Republican because it's really like a bad word now. But see, that's, that's why... Like, um, all, like, you see, like, campaign signs for the general election for a candidate. It actually has the word Republican on them. And it's like, the whole purpose of that is to desensitize people. For, because it's really a bad word now. So they're just trying to desensitize people so they won't get completely shocked when they go into the voting booth and, and see it under the candidate's name. So that's why they do that. But um, Christine O'Donnell is obsessed with basting. I like it's. It's like when I was in high school, everybody seemed to be obsessed with it, and people would go around going like that. See, that's what everybody did in high school, and we would and we would yell out "baste" and "barst," and we always did that in art class in high school. I remember when we did that because the teacher in high school the art teacher always left the classroom for like 45 minutes at a time and he always said no no I'm gonna be gone for a few minutes I'll be back oh I'll probably be back about five minutes but still he was gone for like 45 minutes so so we just assumed he was basting so, so that, so that's what he would do. He would say, "No, I don't. Exp I don't want anybody to make any noise while I'm gone." <laughs> so we did. We made all kinds of noise. We yelled out. We, I mean, we'd sit down in the art room and we yelled, oh! and We took a broom and hit the ceiling so the classroom up above us could hear us. Because there was a science teacher. <laughs> <laughs> there was this, uh, it's, this was a, there was this old nun that taught science, and she, and she, <laughs> we kept making all this noise so she could hear us, and it, it was funny. So, so that's that's what Christine O'Donnell, you know, who Christine O'Donnell's sort of like, the Senate candidate in Delaware. She's sort of like, uh, she's sort of like Rick Santorum. Because she's obsessed with weird things, just like Rick Santorum was. Now, the difference now, the difference now is that pe people, now, see, the, the media just love both, obviously, because you know it's the media, but outside of that, you know, the difference here is that people make fun of uh, Christine O'Donnell a lot more. Because I think now, I think now there's like an, an outlet for this stuff. Like, because now, like, blogs are, are, um, Blogs have finally come to the f rescue. So now there's a lot of bloggers and stuff who know that Christine O'Donnell is the fair target for ridicule that, that she is. But see, uh, with Rick Santorum, though, people never people never really got into ridiculing Rick Santorum until it was too late. Until, like, a, I guess it was 2006 when he, when was the last time he ran, when he finally got defeated. And people didn't really... People really didn't get after him until it was too late, because they didn't really have an outlet for it yet. But that's pr pretty much what Christine O'Donnell is uh, is like. She's the new Rick Santorum, because she's she's obsessed with the same same type of uh, issues, <laughs> and she she's just she's got uh, she's got issues. I'll put it that way. Just like Rick Santorum obviously did, <laughs> to be obsessed with the kinds of th things that they're obsessed with. I mean, really. I mean, they could be talking about something important, like the economy or healthcare or naval lit or 
something like that. Instead, they're here talking about basting and things like that. Now, so anyway, that's what we did in our class. The teacher, he would always wash our, he would always say, well, I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be in my office for about five minutes. And he would be gone for 45 minutes. What's up with that? And we just, we just assumed he, we just assumed that he was basting. Now, right now, this is a very slow memes day. But this is, now, now see, and I'm trying to look now. See, it's it's not really clear what Christine O'Donnell's job uh, is, other than just a career politician. Because I mean, she's run for Senate before. She's always lost. But now, at least now on Wikipedia, Rick Santorum. It says Rick Rick Santorum. His occupation was an attorney. But somehow, I cannot imagine Rick Santorum arguing a case in a courtroom. <laughs> Can you imagine Rick Santorum argue, going into court and ar trying to argue a case? Because he doesn't know, I mean, from his stances, it, it's clear he doesn't know anything about the law. He, he says, as it says on Wikipedia, Santorum is considered a social and fiscal conservative. He is... He... But actually, uh, it says he provides business and strategic counseling services to his firm's clients. But that's... <laughs> but he, of course, he's considering a bid for president in 2012. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've read all day. Santorum <laughs> is president. <laughs> Oh man, do you figure what the electoral map would look like? <laughs> Imagine him running for president. <laughs> Imagine Rick Santorum running for president. He would, how many states do you think he'd even win? I mean, what? Like, he wouldn't even win. He wouldn't even win his home state. He's from Pennsylvania, and he wouldn't even win that. Well, I don't even know if he's ever set foot in Pennsylvania, though, because he actually, he always claimed he lived in Pennsylvania, but he always had a home in, in Virginia. So the only evidence that he's ever set foot in Pennsylvania is when he used to campaign door to door. I mean, that's the only evidence I've ever seen that, that he's ever set foot in, in, in his, his home state. From what I hear, I mean, I, I mean I've never lived there either. But... But from what I've read, so that's um, <laughs> Rick Santorum. He's he is a Rick Santorum and Christine O'Donnell are the are basically are they? Do you know? Maybe they're the same person. Have you ever seen them in, in the same place? Maybe they're actually the same person. Ever think of that? So, so I think there, there's a, a very lopsided Senate race coming up, thanks to Christine O'Donnell being such an idiot. <laughs> so, I bet you could hardly wait for that.